Hi, I'm Skyler. Let's go over the process of setting up an iPad for the first time. You'll need an internet connection. So if you've got a Wi-Fi network at home, you can do it there. If you don't, I recommend going to a library or a cafe or some other place that offers a free Wi-Fi connection. To turn it on, there's a button at the top on the back right here. Hold it down until the iPad turns on. You'll see this screen. Slide to unlock. And then it asks you which language you would like to use. We'll do English and tap this white arrow in the blue rectangle in the upper right. Choose your country and tap Next. Remember when I mentioned that network? I'll choose my Wi-Fi network. And if a password is required, I'll type it in. Then I tap join. Now that I've connected to a network, I can see this. I'll tap next. It asks me if I want to use location services. Location services do things like allow you to find yourself on a map, just for example, or tag a photograph with GPS data so that you can find it based on where you think you took it. Those are just two examples, but there are many of them. I'll tap Enable Location Services because I can change it at a later date and tap Next. I'm going to set this iPad up as brand new. So I'll select this top option and tap Next. If I don't have an Apple ID, I'll tap Create a Free Apple ID. This, starting with my birthday, would walk me through the input of several different types of information, including an email address, my name, and things like that so that I could use the App Store, the iTunes Store, and the iBook Store. All places, marketplaces, from which you can buy things that are made by people and submitted to Apple. I'll go back, because I'm going to sign with my Apple ID. So I'll tap that and type it in. Next, you'll see the terms and conditions. They're pretty clear, so you could read them all here if you wanted or you could have them sent to you by email. I'll tap Agree, and then again in the center, Agree. Right now, the iPad is verifying itself with Apple servers. Great. I'm going to use iCloud because I have an iPhone and a MacBook Pro. So I want all of those things to synchronize, like my contacts, my calendars. You get the idea. I'll tap Next. I also want my iPad to back up to iCloud rather than to my computer. This means that it backs up every night whenever it's plugged in and connected to Wi-Fi. I'll tap Next. I'll also use Find My iPad. This way, I can track my iPad down if I misplace it. Tap Next again. Messaging. I'm going to leave it as it's suggested. Tap Next. And now I'll elect to use Siri. The reason it asks this is because Siri is still beta. You can turn this off later. Tap Next again. Diagnostics and usage make it much easier to figure out what's gone wrong with your iPad if you go to the Genius Bar, just for example. So I'll tap Automatically Send and tap Next. Now I'll tap Start Using iPad, and I see the home screen for the first time. A couple of other things that you could do to set up your iPad are setting up mail, for example, and um, going to the App Store to download your first app to verify your um, Apple ID. But at this point, you're pretty much set up. Thanks for watching. I'm Skylar.